There you go. Hi, and welcome everyone to the High Pleasure Cacti Maintainers meeting. Please abide by the antitrust policy notice and the High Pleasure Code of Conduct, which you can find linked to in our agenda document. And with that said, recordings, we just discussed this. Uh, we'll try to figure it out with Rai. I'll volunteer to help out. If, if he's been doing stuff manually, then I'll, I'll try to help him. Uh, but for now, Rama is recording. Uh, yeah, by the way, Rama, did you hit record to local computer or record to cloud? No. No. Okay, you won't be able to find that video. Then you also have to contact Rai because of that. Because only he has access to the recordings that we make on the Hyperledger account. Like it, it won't show up on your own Zoom account if you log in and try to check it. Okay, I think it's safer though. I mean, I don't want to save it to my computer and then uh, what would I do after that? Where would I upload it? To the Wiki, the Confluence page. You just uh, oh okay. upload it as you an just attachment. Upload it yeah, yeah. You just go edit. And then, you know, you click here and then you click this uh, insert files and images. Then you say upload right. files. That's it. Okay. okay, I'll remember that for the next time. No problem. Yeah. Just have to get in touch with Drive for this one. Yeah. CI performance, just a real quick update on that. I assigned some work to Jackpre to work on that dependency graph optimization so that we only run tests that are necessary. But now he's uh, on uh, leave. So I'll just uh, pick up the slack there myself and I'll get something out this week because the CI is very, very slow. And then on to the quarterly update. Yeah, just before we go to quarterly update uh, on the performance, uh, Sandeep, did you uh, change the reach allocation for this test that you mentioned? Huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the, now? The two, yeah, yeah, the two data sharing ones, right? Yeah, uh, uh, it's working now. Uh, so, uh, sorry, it's going to interrupt. So, let's confirm. So, uh, yeah, so this is so the quarterly update of the uh, uh, TOC. Uh, okay. So, uh, so, uh, uh, so, so Takuma. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so I already so uh, uh, so, uh, so sorry sorry stop so, um, before before going to the quarter update uh, we are still discussing uh, number two CI performance. Okay, also, sorry. So, yeah. yeah, I think that's uh, Sandeep confirmed that uh, it's the uh, resource allocation that we made and the test working. So yeah, we can move to the quarterly update. So uh, Takuma, uh, the uh, we stopped. Uh, creating wiki entries now. So oh, the procedure okay. right now is to submit a PR to the link that I just posted. Uh, that's the, there's like a one repository now where all the activity happens, um, anything to do with the hyperledger TOC. So if you go there, uh, go to the PRs and see some of the closed ones or even I think a couple of the open ones and you see how people are submitting it. So you just have to, uh, the same file that you uploaded on the wiki, you'll have to uh, make a check-in there, and uh, then the TOC members will review it. Oh, okay. So, so uh, okay. So, uh, uh, this page. Uh, so, uh, so, the, so is it is it right? So the uh, so I I, I put, uh, post a chat chat window on the uh, uh the repository. Uh, so uh, is it okay to up uh, for, for me to upload uh, upload this? Uh, the same uh, same block on this repository is right. Uh, TLC, TLC, uh, TLC three G page G project reports. Uh, the, uh, yeah, is it right? Yeah, under project reports twenty twenty three, you have to create an entry called two zero two three Q two hyperledger cacti. Okay, uh, I will upload. Yeah, uh, just uh, like uh, yeah dot md. Yeah, so, sorry for my 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 data, but I will. Yeah, thank you. Oh, no problem. Uh, we reminding everyone uh, when they are submitting a new report. Some of them, uh, yeah, uh, they they try the old way and then we remind them or we tell them. Okay, thank you. 
so uh, i had uh, i think couple of comments the last time we talked it was a while ago uh did uh, uh did you check them out i don't remember uh, if there was a follow up mm-hmm. so the, uh, uh so the, the uh, could I, could I report the, uh, to the um, in, could I report so the, uh, uh yeah uh, i approve so that your uh, device version and uh, do you have any comment on the device device version I think there was uh, I had a comment or two after that. Let me I'm quickly checking the okay uh, Discord chat. Give me a sec. Uh, okay. Ah yeah. So oh um okay. This is a bit dated. What I, the only thing I just mentioned is. That we probably should we probably should list the the mentorship project that got selected. Also, okay. In, in uh, 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 sorry, so the, uh, yeah, so please, so uh, uh, please, uh, directly ask to the uh, this uh, to the uh, so TSC uh, wiki. So, so uh, and then so the, uh, I will approve. Uh, I will uh, approve the copy of the uh, the this MD on the uh, so TOC. Yeah. Okay, so you want me to edit the edit the wiki and then you'll submit a PR. Okay, thank you. Mm. Okay, thank you. Mm. I didn't have anything else. Sir. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so then we I guess we can move to integration. Um. I think the last time we uh, we were discussing uh, exactly how to uh, fashion the the API function. I think there are two options, right? Uh, one, we could uh, create a new plugin and uh, uh, and and work with that. Uh, but then I also wanted to uh, investigate uh, if we could update the Cactus Core API plugin itself. Uh, still have to do my uh, uh, homework on that. Um, but overall, uh, I think I wanted to ask you guys if, uh, and also, yeah, we wanted to, I, I said we could go over, uh, the Beaver, uh, package organization ones. I mean, we did this like a year ago, but, uh, I think, uh, as a refresher, we can just see how it's organized so that we can, um, uh, then, um, uh, integrate the the two in the best way possible or the easiest way possible um so in uh so uh, under weaver the uh the different uh modules are organized in a uh, in a sort of a um functional or a hierarchical manner i mean functional and hierarchical manner so there are different uh folders that uh contain uh, different kind of functions in fact uh are we supposed to have the screen on or can i share my screen no you can share i'll stop sharing okay Right, everyone can see my screen, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, in in cacti, uh, again, inheriting this from cactus, we have a uh, uh, all the plugins under the packages, right? Um, in in Weaver, we have a the organization is as follows: we have a some data structures that are under common. Uh, under core, we have the the uh, autonomous modules that one is supposed to either run separately or uh, deploy within the, the particular network. So we have uh, drivers. Under drivers, we have categorization by DLT. Uh, we have uh, identity management where we have uh, uh, agents, which are, okay, there's some uh, uh, deep hierarchy here. So 
here we are supposed to have uh, 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 different folders corresponding to different DLTs. That, I mean, this is how the source code is organized. Again, um, how we expose it is a different thing, but just showing you. Um, okay, and back to identity management, there's also uh, an identity network, which we haven't uh, quite uh, done yet. Um, under network, we have, uh, again, uh, these are the, the smart contracts, the ones that are there in the architecture diagram, the, the sort of the common smart contracts. Those are categorized again by DLT. It's Bezu, this uh, uh, fabric, which is like a chain code of Corda, which is like a Corda app. Uh, and then there's a relay because we don't need any uh, DLT specific features here. This is just a single common component. And then we have uh, under the SDKs, we have uh, again a single categorization uh, or the first categorization is based on DLT. Uh, by SDK, we basically mean these are uh, uh, libraries that uh, one can incorporate. It's sort of like uh, how the Cactus Core API and then the uh, the, the the client API generally works in, in within Cactus. Um, so here we have uh, under each DLT, we can have a different uh, an API corresponding to a different uh, uh, programming language uh, depending on uh, what language the app developers programming in so uh we we have one uh, that's using the fabric uh go api another using the fabric uh, node api and for the others we just have a single one for bezu we just have a node.js version for corda we have a, a kotlin version uh so that's so uh each of those these uh, is a place where we are developing the source code but also the the packages that we have been creating uh, roughly corresponds to uh, the each of the the endpoints in the in the file system that I just showed. So, uh, is uh, just wanted to ask if we can uh, categorize the packages here as well in a using a similar kind of logic. So then it will be uh, easier to move uh, or port the code from Weaver to there. Because right now this is a completely flat uh, package structure. Well, we could, but it would complicate every single build script that we have because a lot of them depend on paths outside of the directory. And then it becomes less copy paceable uh is there any sort of technical reason to do it in the tree structure or is it just the the uh the way people understand it would be easier with that hierarchical the, the latter i think mm. so um i think we also discussed maybe um okay in that case uh maybe we can just continue on uh, the experiment we were trying last year. You remember you you created a new branch and uh, we were we were trying to move uh, Weaver code there. That, that sort of stopped when we were uh, after the announcement was made. Um, but uh, we can try to do the same thing here. Like we'll move the source code in such a way that it uh, maintains the hierarchical uh, uh, model where so that. It's easy for easy for people to understand where to go and develop if they want to make any changes. But then we can have a symlink inside uh, the packages. I think that that may be a better way then. Okay, I uh, I think I get what you mean, and I'm happy to to restart that branch again, but from the no, point no, no, where I... we are now. Yeah, let, let's. I I have that uh, branch, so I can. Uh, yeah, I mean, Sandeep and I can uh, take a look at that. But uh, for the immediate uh, task, I think uh, maybe we'll we'll just stick to what we have. Uh, we will 
connect either character character score api or uh, create a new plugin that will depend on um something within the viewer folder directly and then later we can uh, uh, move the code from viewer out to some place some place else in the main uh, in the root folder yeah, yeah i kind of managed stages. to delete that old branch because rebasing that would be hell. Uh, yeah. So I would just yeah, create that... a new one and then start playing around with with the with the current main branch being the basis instead of whatever we had back then. Because I don't even remember what we had back then, and there was there was a million changes in both code bases in the meantime. So reconciling that would be hell. I would rather just delete that old branch. What I meant restarting, restarting the concept of it. So like redoing it from scratch, but in, with the same idea. Yeah, I agree. But okay. yeah, that uh, we, we can come to that later. I, I think the uh, just want to get to the, uh, the, the API feature that we have sketched out uh as quickly and as seamlessly as possible so let's finish yeah. that and then yeah and then we can do the big refactoring yeah that's more important agreed okay sorry but i have to go i i have a hard yep. cut off i'll talk to you all later all right yeah. thanks bye-bye bye bye, bye.